Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It. And today we're gonna change the lower control arms on this 2005 Toyota Camry. Okay, so we jacked up the car, put it on jack stands, take off the wheel. And this is your control arm right here. You're gonna have to undo this bolt right here. Undo this. There's another one underneath here. So you need to take off this motor mount or trans mount. And then you're gonna have to undo it from the ball joint down here. Um, separated from the spindle, okay? Let's take off the mount first. For that, you need to take off this nut. And then there's three nuts on the bottom here that you need to get from down here, okay? So there's one, two, and there's another one down here, okay? Okay, all these nuts on the bottom are 17 millimeters. So. Okay, we got everything out of the bottom. This one is a 19 millimeter, so you need a wrench to get that off. And if you have a ratchet wrench, it'd be a lot easier. But I don't have one this big. Okay, we're gonna support the trans. So put a piece of wood on your jack and just support it with that. Okay, now that you got this mount off, you could get to this. Uh, this is a 22 millimeter. So you gotta take off that one and that one. And this one up here is a 19 millimeter. So let's take them off. All right, the stabilizer, stabilizer bar is a little bit underway. Just pry it over to the side and get that built off. Next, you need to separate the ball joints from the spindle. And you need to take off the cotter pin right there and take off that nut. But I think I'm just gonna take off these uh, three 17 millimeter nuts and take off the uh, control arm. And that should give me more clearance to take off that nut. All right, guys, these are your new control arms. They came with nice new ball joints. And these ball joints are so tight, nice and tight. Anyway, this is the part number for the left side. And this is the part number for the right side, okay? There's gonna be a link in the description, okay? Let's put these on. Okay, this part goes towards the back of the car. It slides on there just like that. So what we're gonna do is gonna slide this, same way it came out. You're just gonna slide it in there and then put it on top. Throw the bolts on. All right. So, this is an issue. All right, so I tried to put this control arm in here, but I couldn't get it high enough to pivot in there. And that's because the sway bar, the bottom of the sway bar is here. So you need to take off the sway bar links. Now I'm changing these anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is what happened with the sway bar links. They don't always come off. The other side came off easy. This side I had to cut off, okay? And chances are you're going to destroy these trying to replace them. So have another set available. So now you're able to lift up on the sway bar like that. And you got all the room you need. All right, the control arm is in. It's all bolted on. So now you gotta put in the ball joint. And I didn't show how to take off the ball joint, but basically take off the cotter pin, take off this castle nut, and then whack this knuckle, and it should come off. If not, get a fork, a separator, and uh, put it in here and it'll come off, okay? Okay guys, now we gotta attach the ball joint. So when you do this, put, put some uh, blue Loctite on it. Okay, get yourself a big pry bar and put it on here, and you're gonna pry down on this and get the ball joint in the spindle, okay? All right, everything's put back together. I found the easiest way to do this is unbolting the ball joint from the control arm. You put in your control arm, bolt it all up, put on your motor mount, and then bolt your, your ball joint back up with the three bolts, 
and then take a, a pry bar through here and pry down in this whole thing and then put the ball joint back in the spindle put it all back together uh, castle nut all that stuff and that's it that's the easiest way uh, took me about an hour each side so about two hours altogether so not an easy job but uh, not terrible either so all right that's how you do control arms on a toyota camry i hope this video helped you out like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later take care